guys, welcome to today's video and thank you so much for stopping by. So today's video is another exciting monthly favorite video and I decided to do a monthly favorite video every single month because I have been trying out so many new products every now and then and so many of them are really really good. And last month was a bit crazy because I tried so many so many new products during last month and so many of them turned out to be really really good and I decided to feature all of those products in this video so yeah this video is going to be really 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 helpful for you all before starting if you are new here then hi I am Nita I upload makeup skincare and beauty related videos almost every alternative day please take a moment to subscribe for that go to your YouTube app yes I know you know what to do but still it's my responsibility to tell you Please go to your YouTube app, press that red subscribe button right here and also press the show to the bell button next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. The first product that I'm going to share with you, it's not a makeup or skincare product. It is my cute little cap right here. Oops. Yeah, this cap right here. I got this cap from Walmart before my Colorado trip. The weather is really really hot in Louisiana currently, trust me, and I need something to protect my face from direct sunlight and this cap is saving my face from direct sunlight. Look at the color. This so cute baby pink cap and I just love wearing this cap and I have been wearing this cap last month like every single day. Whenever I'm going out, I need this with me. So yeah, I have that. Next, I got these eyebrow razors from Walgreens and these were for around some $5. Now, I have been using Tinkle razors ever since I started shaving my face. And to be very honest, those are a bit sharp. Yes, those are a bit sharp and a bit like bigger. So I wanted something a bit shorter for my eyebrows. That's when I spotted this cute little baby. And it is so tiny and so freaking cute. Like 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 this much. And like da 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 and you are done. It fits on my eye socket socket. I don't know what it is called right here. So nicely. And it has just made my job easier. I can do da 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 and I am done. It is not overly sharp so I haven't got any single cut out of this razor. So I can see myself repurchasing this particular razor over and over again. So yeah, this has been my go-to during last month. Most of them are skincare products in this video. I wonder why because I have tried so many skincare products and this guy is one of them. This Nivea body lotion with aloe vera soothing moisturizing right here. I am a dry skin type. Though I am not dry at all right now, it is summer, I'm not dry, but I need something to hydrate to give me that moisture on my body. And I do not want that crazy busy feeling on my body. It's so nasty, I do not like that. So I spotted this one at Walmart and I instantly grabbed it. I personally prefer lotions that contain aloe vera and this has aloe vera in it. Aloe vera, we all know it is like an antibacterial kind of a thing, property. Anyway, aloe vera is antibacterial and I, I need something antibacterial for my body as I shave my body, okay? This is so lightweight, the texture is so thin, so lightweight, yet very, very moisturizing. Whenever I apply it on my body at night, I just wake up with a baby soft skin, which I absolutely love. And it does not make my body feel like, like overly greasy, like oily or anything. It is very, very lightweight. So if you're looking for a good moisturizing body lotion that does not feel heavy or greasy on your skin, go for it. It is such, such, such a great product. And it has a very nice, like refreshing kind of a smell. It is not that overpowering, which I absolutely love. So if you are looking for a good drugstore body lotion, that does not make you feel greasy, oily, or heavy, just go for it. This is such, such, such a great product. 
Now, as it is summer, we all need sunscreen, sun protection, right? So I picked up two sunscreens. One is for body, one is for my face, and both of them turned out to be really, really, really great. So the first one is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost sunscreen with SPF 50 in it right here. This is a new launch by Neutrogena and I loved the way it looks on my skin. It is kind of a minty greenish lotion like this and when you just try to blend it, it just disappears in your skin. It just melts into your skin like this. And it does not leave any kind of greasiness or any kind of like white cast or white residue as you guys can see and I love a gel based sunscreen for my face because I feel like my makeup looks way better on a gel based sunscreen and it is such a great sunscreen you can see it, it just does not leave any kind of oily residue which I absolutely love so if you're looking for a great sunscreen for your face go for it and if you are familiar uh, with their Hydro Boost line the smell is exact the same like I have used their Hydro Boost cream their um, serum their sheet mask and the smell is exact the same and it is not that overpowering so yeah if you're looking for a good drugstore sunscreen just go for it it is very very good so recently I was watching a video of Tati where Jello's makeup artist was doing her makeup and he mentioned a sunscreen a body mist like this one from Neutrogena he said that it's his like favorite product from the drugstore and now I know why this body mist you guys it has SPF 100 in it and I generally prefer a higher number of SPF for my face as well as for my body and this product is awesome it is freaking awesome though it is a body mist you can actually apply it on your face but I haven't used it on top of my makeup because to be very honest I am a bit afraid so just let me show you like see uh, can you see the glow like see as if I have applied some kind of body glitter or body illuminator it gives me that perfect sunkiss glow which I absolutely love like that gel or glow I would say look and if anybody apply it on my chest or on my legs and during summer I generally wear shorts it looks stunning my legs they just look stunning and dazzling which I absolutely love so yeah this body mist sunscreen is super duper nice oh I just cannot ignore that glow look at this and whenever I'm wearing this sunscreen I all the time do this 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 I mean if you have watched that Huda Beauty advertisement of their uh, liquid body glitter she was doing like this 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 and it was so freaking funny and when I apply this particular sunscreen on my body I feel like I should do this 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 I know it sounds like stupid but anyway I have that and if you haven't tried this body mist or this sunscreen yet I highly highly recommend you to get this it is such a great product there is another skincare product which has literally changed the way my skin looks. It has literally changed my entire skincare game and I recently got this product from Target and I'm talking about this e.l.f. Gentle Peeling Exfoliant right here. So it is like a peeling exfoliant, it is not like a physical exfoliant and I have been looking for such a product for a really really long time and most of them are really really expensive. It was for like $10 which is a steal. So it is like a 
white gel like this and you are supposed to apply it on dry face and you have to rub it like this and if anybody uh, do it you can actually see all those dead skin cells all those charts and everything is just accumulating and it is just crumbling up and when you apply it on my face my face literally feels so soft like a baby's butt I'm not even kidding my skin feels so clean so soft so glowing so this has literally like literally changed my entire skincare game and I can see myself reaching for this particular exfoliant like over and over again. It does not dry out my skin like other physical exfoliant. And I have been looking for such a product for a really, really long time. And most of them are really, really expensive. So I'm glad that it is not that expensive. Still, it does its job. So if you are looking for a gentle peeling exfoliant like this, just go for it. I highly, highly recommend you to try this one. This is outstanding next i have here this wet and wild lip scrub right here it is the watermelon lip scrub right here and i got it from walgreens now to be very honest i am not at all a lip scrub person i mean i do not like to invest my money on a particular lip scrub i got it just because it is cheap it was only around two to three dollars i generally prefer to use my diy lip scrubs they work amazingly on my lips i just take some sugar granules i mix it with lemon juice and a little bit of grape seed oil and i just scrub my lips and i have been doing this for years now and that works amazingly and recently i spotted this one at Walgreens, and i just picked it up first of all the color it is beautiful it is a very nice red color and it does smell like watermelon and the, the granules the granule or particles scrubbing particles they are not that harsh on my lips and whenever i scrub my lips with it my lips just feel so soft so smooth and my liquid lipsticks they just glide on smoothly on top of it though i am still a diy lip scrub person i just got it because it was cheap and my diy lip scrub just gives me exact same result as this one so yeah, if you're looking for a cheap drugstore lip scrub then just go for it or you can try your own diy lip scrub it's just my personal opinion next i have here this maybelline new york dream urban cover uh, foundation with spf 50 and i'm the shade sun beige i recently did a full review video of this foundation and the lipstick the uh, english brand i will link that video in the description bar down below so please go ahead and check that out i tried this foundation like with my sponge with my brush with a setting spray with a primer without a setting spray without a primer and i did like a full day wear taste of this foundation and you can totally go ahead and check that out and this foundation became my go-to during last month i got it like two two weeks not like two weeks like i can really remember like 10 or 12 days ago maybe and I have been wearing only and only this foundation ever since I got it. So yeah, if you are looking for a good drugstore foundation with SPF 50, yes, that is like the most important thing with SPF 50, then just go for it. Or like you can wear your own SPF or your own foundation, it's your call, but this baby right here it has become like my go-to foundation now at least during this summer and one more thing if you have oily skin then i do not know if you are going to love it or not but i have kind of normal to combo kind of skin and i have been enjoying this foundation so if you have oily skin then just try it for yourself then then, then see for yourself if you like it or not but i have normal combo skin currently and i have been enjoying now I should give an honorable mention to this lip crayon as well. This is the brand new Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon. I also did review this crayon in that 
particular video and i also did like check-ins we are time taste and everything you can totally go ahead and watch that video this lip cream oh my god the formula is really really good trust me it glides on smoothly and after like 10 15 minutes it becomes matte and uh, it is like 80 to 90 percent matte not 100 percent matte and of course 80 to 90 percent transfer proof and the color is to die for the color is so so stunning it matches the uh, color of the packaging right here it is like a deep uh, brown with a hint of red in it and it looks absolutely stunning on my lips it does not emphasize any texture on my lips it just makes my lips look so smooth so so smooth and it lasts for about six hours on my lips and after that it kind of starts fading from the center and then I need to do a touch up which I do not really mind so yeah if you haven't got this lip crayon yet you have to have to get it and I am planning to get some more shades from this particular ring this is such a stunning product next I have here two brushes and these are real techniques highlighting brush duo and I believe these are available only at Target uh, as I saw on their Instagram page and I got mine from Target this one is for liquid highlighters and this one is for powder highlighters both of them are stunning first of all this pinkish uh, kind of packaging it is so so stunning and I particularly love this brush it is for like powder highlighter and I can apply my highlighter like seamlessly with this particular brush it is so tiny and it just blends my highlighter like a dream like a dream though I haven't used this brush that much but I have used quite a few times it is meant for like liquid highlighters I do not use liquid highlighters I do not know why but, but I do not really use liquid highlighters so I cannot say much about it but this brush oh my god it is stunning and both of them are for like ten dollars so I highly highly recommend you to get these two brushes these are good these are really really good as I'm talking about highlighters let me tell you let me tell you I'm actually wearing two highlighters two different highlighters this side is like drugstore side and this side is higher side can you see a difference to be very honest no I cannot see a difference see. and I am planning to do a side-by-side -side comparison video a review video of of these two highlighters one is of course drugstore one is high-end so stay tuned for that now I'm going to mention one magical product and according to me it is the most precious product that I found during last month and I'm talking about this high toe pack for extremely damaged hair hope you can see yes like this one hope you can see it if you have been following me for a while, you must know I have chemically treated hair and my uh, hair is so dry and dehydrated and I need to take care of my hair because if I do not do, my hair just becomes so rough and frizzy. And I have been looking for a hair mask for a really, really long time that actually works. I have tried so many, like so many. I love my OGX hair mask, but recently I went to Walmart and I actually got this particular sachet like this particular sample size from walmart for like one dollar or two dollars i don't really remember and i was a bit skeptical because most of the hair care products they just do not work for my hair and they just make my hair very frizzy very dry instead of making them softer and smoother but when i just read the claims i was sold i was instantly sold it says treats and corrects excessively damaged hair concentrated proteins and active moisturizing guarantee 
exceptional conditioning fortify hair and aid in the prevention of split ends and breakage that's all i need that's all i need so when i applied it on my hair for the first time my hair was so so soft and i could not really believe that i was actually touching my own hair i have never ever 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 felt my hair to be that soft that smooth that frizz free and i decided that i need to get a bigger size that's when i ordered this one from amazon now let me tell you one thing i got actually three of them not one like three of them for 22 dollars so they are pretty cheap they are not breaking your bank if you have like dry dehydrated chemically treated hair i will highly highly suggest you to give it a shot my hair is like so dry so dehydrated and i get split ends like this and this has literally changed the way my hair looks my hair is so much healthier so much smoother so much softer so i will highly suggest you to get this particular hair mask a shot and i'm sure you are gonna love this next i have two blushes and two of them are outstanding like my kind of blush first one is this nyx hd blush in the shade amber right here look at the color the color is stunning it is a very nice peachy coral kind of a color and it looks stunning on my skin and i am wearing it currently on my cheeks you can see it is like a very nice day-to-day -day blush and it is a matte blush it is not a shimmery or glittery kind of a blush and it looks stunning on my cheeks and i have been wearing this particular blush like every single day on my cheeks and not actually only this one i have two blushes like one day i wear this and the day i wear that one which i'm going to show you shortly so yeah i have that blush in love with that blush will be repurchasing that blush over and over again so yeah so the next blush that i have here people literally rave about this blush and i'm talking about this birds bees blush and this is in the shade bear beach right here like look at this it is again very nice uh peachy terracotta kind of a blush and it is not a flat matte blush it has some kind of i would not say it is shimmery but some kind of shine to it and it is so buttery smooth and both of these blushes they just apply smoothly on my cheeks they are not patchy at all now my local walmart it does not carry birds bee blushes or any birds bee makeup they carry some of birds bees uh, skincare products but not makeup products which sucks so i got this blush uh, from uh, Carbondale, not Carbondale, from Denver actually. I went to Denver Walmart and I got this blush from there and I was surprised to see they have like an entire counter carrying all Bird's Bees makeup products like from their foundation, their powder, their blushes, everything and I just picked it up and I have been wearing this blush ever since I got it. Like ever since I got it. This is stunning. This is literally, literally, literally stunning. So next I have here this Milani Make It Last setting spray. Now, during my visit to Colorado, I actually forgot to take my makeup setting spray with me. And that's when I rushed to a local Ulta store near Glamood, I believe. And I picked it up and you can see it is well loved like i have already finished that much of product because it is well loved and i have been using only this particular setting spray ever since i got it and i ditched all of my setting sprays i'm sorry guys so yeah this is a stunning product and i know it has been around for a really really long time 
for a really, really long time and I do not know what on earth I was doing. I have never even tried this before and the moment I tried it, fell in love with it. Literally fell in love with it. It makes my makeup long lasting. It gives me a very natural looking finish. It is not like a matte setting spray or not like a dewy finish setting spray. It just gives me that kind of natural finish which I absolutely love. And when I spray it all over my face, it has a very calming and soothing sensation which I absolutely love. The only thing I do not like about this setting spray is the mister or just spray. If you hold it really close on your face, you may get like droplets all over your face. You have to hold it really really far away from your face and then you're good to go. It is such a stunning product. I know I have nothing new to say about it because people literally rave about this product and now I know why this is stunning. Only two, only two, then I'm done. Since it is summer, we all need deodorants. And actually, this is, I won't say it is a monthly favorite, you can say it is a yearly favorite because I use only like two or three particular deodorants and most of them I use this one. This Dove um, Fresh Body, Body? Sorry, deodorant. This Dio stick right here. It is, <sighs> love the smell, love the smell. I personally do not like harsh or strong smells. I cannot stand them. But this has a very mild, soothing smell to it, which I absolutely love. It actually lasts for a really, really long time. And when I apply it, I feel so refreshed because the smell itself is so refreshing. So if you're looking for that kind of refresh, and one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, hold on. It is not at all a floral smell. If you are a fan of floral smell, then it is not for you. So yeah, if you are looking for like a very soothing, very calming, very refreshing, long lasting deodorant during this summer, just give it a shot. This is stunning. So finally the video ends here and thank you so much for being with me today. And I hope this video was helpful and I hope you have found some great products for yourself. So yeah, if you like this video, then please hit the like button and please, please, please subscribe to my channel and also please share this video with your friends and family. It will mean a lot, 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 lot to me. Trust me, guys, please do so. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description but down below. So please go ahead and check that out. So yeah, see you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care.